What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we are back with something a little bit different to the channel. This is going to be the first time we open up something Japanese Pokemon card related on the channel. So what you guys are seeing in front of you right now is in fact a mystery cube. Uh, it's not it's not a cube. It's <laughs> it's a rectangle of sorts, but we're going to call it a mystery cube. Um all the way from Japan. You guys can see there on the back of that card on the back there. It is um it is Japanese and as you guys can see these cards are all sleeved individually sleeved so that brings up a lot of questions in my books but this uh, this product in particular was given to me by a fan and who is actually another youtuber um, his channel name is lazy Charizard link will be in the video description if you guys would like to check out his channel here opens a lot of these uh, these mystery cubes that he buys from Japan and stuff and he uh, actually gave me this one to share with you guys on the channel so that is, that is really exciting so if you guys are keen to see what we get out of this uh, mystery Pokemon Japanese product today be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and with that said let's bust into this thing so as you guys can see it is all sealed it's kind of like taped up a little bit and as you guys can tell I'm actually in the Booster King setup he's uh, he was kind enough um, to loan me his setup which is always great oh it's actually like sealed sealed alrighty we're gonna need the uh, handy dandy trusty trusty Booster Kings Nings knife here yeah, Nings <laughs> Booster Nings but uh, let's go let's I, I don't know how to deal with this thing because there's so many cards but I don't want to like ruin the order or anything so maybe we just stack it and pull up let's go like that okay well that worked that worked there's there's a shrink oh, you guys can see that the shrink wrap of sorts so I'm gonna spin this around really gently without knocking them over because I don't know what's in here so there could, could be some really epic cards in this today so let's go let's take the stack straight off the top and let's go through these so these could be anything I don't know why they're sle they're sleeved because as you guys can tell straight off the bat here we have a Chansey from Phantom Gate. I don't know a lot of the Japanese set names, but oh that's a barbarical. Gee, dude. So I'm just gonna kind of slowly um, go through these. As you guys can see, there's a um, lot of double. These are from like Roaring Skies. I don't know what the set name is in Japanese, but oh did I just take two cards? I did. They stuck together. But we got a couple of hit hit mollies here. So this looks very similar to the ones that Booster Kings did on his channel, where there's a lot of um. Common, uh, commons and uncommons. Ooh, there's a ponytail. That one's from Flash or Um, I can't remember the name. <laughs> I can't remember the Japanese name for the life of me right now, you guys. Ooh, what's that? That's weird. It says Pokemon, uh, something X Y break. Uh, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, we got a DCE. A lot of these, like these Japanese cards. Oh, that's double cross. <laughs> I keep getting distracted. It, it, there's so, such a range of um sets going that we're going through right now so we've got ultra balls uh fairy drop i believe that is pokemon catcher flash fire avalog flash fire Ble weasel i can't remember i can't remember the name of the japanese flash fire set oh that's a palpito i haven't seen that palpito before that must be from uh might be plasma freeze i can tell by the the frozen design there maybe plasma freeze but then we've got a magma okay so a lot of um commons and uncommons from a lot of different sets right now so let's go through this next day we still have heaps of cards to go through so I, I need to pick my game up here but that looks like a black and white series dome marker oops we got a oh slugma that looks really nice that artwork a heliotire that one's from flash fire we got a couple of them it's very interesting I have not yeah this is the first time I'm really kind of getting hands-on with Japanese cards so this is really nice it, it just seems a little bit strange like I'm guessing they may be sleeve because they may be pack fresh of sorts but we've got a water energy there that's cool like I, I don't get the um if you guys know what why there's like right English writing behind that water energy and like where that's from in Japanese be sure to let me know in the comment section below I would love to know because that's um I've never seen that before on an energy. We got a couple of Trubbish here. Cricket Tot. Clefable. That Altaria I know is from Roaring Skies. Ancient Trait. Wow, there's just so many cards. We got a Shauna. Ooh, times three. Professor Birch. That one's from Primal Clash, I believe. Professor Birch, uh, Birch's Observations. Sycamore. That's a random one. It's kind of just like thrown in there. 
I'm gonna growl. What's my arm? <laughs> my arm is killing me. Uh, that's is that from Boundaries Cross? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I really can't remember these arts, eh? Ooh, Agron Spirit Link. And a Pidgey from Flashfire. Okay, so, so far we've gone through that many cards. And I'll just place them up to the side. And as you guys can see, we have that many cards to go through. This is wild. There's so many cards here. I wonder, I wonder if there's any hidden treasures. That's what I'm looking for. The hidden, hidden gold. So let's see. We've got a Larvesta. A... I can't remember the timber, timber, a Shauna, uh, Sycamore, Acrobike. So yeah, <laughs> lots of lots of random cards. That one is from. Uh, there's a couple of black and white series in here, and um, for those guys who didn't know, I haven't I haven't actually opened many black and white series cards. So oh, that one's in a clear sleeve. But, but we've got like this random black sleeved lady bar. I thought that might have been something special. I thought we had. <laughs> I thought uh, it was throwing down the hints here. Hitmonlee. So it's it's just like a lot of mint bulk, I'm guessing. So let's have a look at this Archaeops here. Let's just take it outside of the uh, the sleeve here and take a look see here. Cause yeah, it does look um the cards do look very, very minty fresh and they feel feel basically brand new. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the reason why they're sleeved is purely because yeah, they were minty, minty fresh. So lazy Charizard, if you're watching the video, you got um you can see right now that uh, yeah. They were sleeved purely because they're in mint, mint condition. A couple of cards are, they're kind of stuck together, like that one there, check out that. Oh, there we go. That's Soul Rock, I, I can't remember where that's from. I, I think it's the late, uh, late black and white era. Look at the Furious Fierce Mature. A couple of them, a lot of them. <laughs> a hip on top, there's that fairy energy with that, um, that English writing behind the back there. Scorched Earth. We got a Pidgeot there from Flashfire. So it looks like there's a lot of Flashfire from here. Uh, early XY and late black and white series. Because that there is like a frozen background. So I'm going to say that's from Plasma Freeze. Um, that one's from Dragon's Exalted, I think. So that's that's throwing it back a bit. Same with that one. I believe that one's from Dragon's Exalted too. Okay. Let's continue on. Let's keep chugging. What else we got? We got a Patch right there. Aromatisse. I'm not going to re really talk too much, you guys. I'm kind of just going to go through these and show you guys what we got inside of this mystery queue. Because, yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that best book in there. And the Rotom. That's definitely the favorite one so far. I'll throw that off to the side. That's going, going to be a, a, a highlight from the stack. Nice looking Sork there. It looks like we're starting to get a little bit older here. We got the Double Crisis Zangoose there. Ooh, a Cottony. Bibarel. Tangler. Just making sure none of these stick together as well. And Maractus. Maractus the Cactus. A, a Drapion. Purloin. A Pancake. Alrighty. So yeah, it's just a lot of mint, mint bulk Japanese cards right here, which isn't too bad if you're looking to start off your set, but at the same time, um, I don't personally know where to buy, like, ultra rare Japanese cards either. If you guys have any like good websites to buy Japanese like ultra rares, be sure to let me know in the comment section below and I, act I actually really want to know um, a lot more because I would open Japanese Pokemon cards on the channel but I don't want to be like restricted into like what I pull from the boxes is what I'll have for the set because it'll like really mess with my OCD when it comes to collecting. That is a holo in legendary treasures. That is like a, it's like a regular rare here in Japanese. That's crazy. That is wild. I didn't even know. Same with that. That's a holo in legendary treasures. That's, that's crazy. See, I don't know the, the set name for legendary treasures in Japanese either. But yeah, um, like I was saying, it would really like mess with my OCD if <laughs> if I could like open a box, but then I couldn't complete the set or even like try to complete the set. If you know what I mean, like me, me personally, I am a set collector uh, of the TCG. That's my priority when it comes to opening packs. It's just like the thrill, the thrill of the hunt, and uh, to yeah, complete the set. So if there are any Japanese Pokemon card websites out there that are, are good that I could I could buy from to potentially. Uh, top off my sets if I were to open uh, more Japanese products on the channel. Uh, if you guys would like to see more Japanese products, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Um, but yeah, it, if there's a good website where I can potentially 
uh, complete the set? Uh, I'd love to know in the comment section below, you guys. I would love to know. Okay, so <laughs> let's throw that over into the big stack there. So it'd be very interesting if these were all just sleeve bulk. Like, you imagine how long it would have taken this person to to sleeve all these bulk cards. I'm just going to throw a couple back there because <laughs> I grabbed a little bit. That was a bit too much on my plate there. But we got a Boo Falant. Veneery. Skuntank. Skunky. And the other art from Flashfire. Oh, I haven't seen that card before. I think that's Boundaries Crossed. I think. I think. And I think that one's Plasma Freeze because of the Frozen design. Like, you can kind of tell just on the, uh, the card art themselves on a lot of the set. They have, like, a theme that they go by. We've got an Unlisted Leaf Energy. Oh, a couple of them. Two of them are Swanna. We've got a Riolu. I don't, I don't know what that is either. There's, like, a, a Terrakion in the bottom corner with, like, a Whack. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that. But, yeah, it says Whack, and it's got a Terrakion there. I have no clue. Absolutely no idea where that's from. A Golurk and a Mulga. Get the Mighty Anna there. Yeah, so they're very, very awesome. Sky, there's like the Sky Arrow Bridge. So that's like a black, uh, black and white series Lapras there. A Golem from Flashfire. Dunsparce. Look at that. Look at that Dunsparce art though. That's really cool. I like that. That's gone off to the side. <laughs> the Dun's fast coming through. Oh, we got a Phoebus there. The Flashfire Phoebus. I think we've got a couple of them so far. And we had a couple of Shauna earlier on too. The Phantom Forces are coming through now. We got a couple of Phantom Forces Helioptiles. Emolga. Furious Fist Electivire. I haven't seen any Furious Fist yet. A couple more Helioptiles. I think we had a couple of them earlier too. Ooh, I like that. That's gone off to the side. Nice looking Lantern. I do like that one. Some more Helioptiles. We got a Plusle. Oh, another one. No, that's a Minin. We got a two Minin there. A Electabuzz. A Joltik. And a couple of trainers here. Rough Seas. Okay. <sighs> so many cards. So many cards to go through here. Okay. So we have a... What's this? I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember the name. I'm having mind blanks. Mind blank central. I'm trying to think of all the set names, Japanese set names. At the holy, <laughs> there's a couple of them there. A Venonat. Oh, a Venomoth. Phantom Forces there. Pancham. We got another mining. So a lot of duplicates, a lot of bulk. So pretty chill. Nothing all too fancy in this stack. I thought it was just very unique that this one was sleeve. Oh, Tyrantrum. The classic Tyrantrum EX, you guys. If you guys haven't checked out uh, one of my multi multi collection box openings the one with the um mega no me, yeah mega beedrill premium collection box i say <laughs> i say mega ty, no what, what was it a tyrantrum ex when it was just a tyrantrum regular rare see that one's a hollow and legendary treasures too that's that's a little bit weird i thought i thought um the japanese cards would have went all out with those uh the hollow foils we got a bayonet which is is a rare but it's an uncommon in japanese which is interesting a roller skates from XY base. Litleo. A couple of them. A burning energy. Mag cargo. Metal energy. Fire energy. Ooh, things are getting hot. And electrified. And warm. I'm feeling I'm feeling saucy right now. <laughs> we got a Poochiana and a float saw. Oh, my right arm. Just need to stretch it out a little bit. Okay. So let's throw them into a new stack over here. So we're down to our final little stack here, you guys. So let's grab a handful. And let's keep chugging through. See if there's any hidden gold. But I think we've gone, like, through to that point where I don't think there's going to be anything all too wild left. Oh, that's from uh, Dragon Vault, I think. Is No, that's not from Dragon Vault. That's from one of the late black, black and white series. Oh, same with that. I, I love that My Wild Art. Um, if you guys have seen any of my, like, Old, older tin openings that, that contain boundaries crossed, I believe. Um, yeah, I always appreciated this art. I thought it was really nice. Ooh, what's that? I don't know what that is. That's, oh, that's a promo of sorts here. We got like a, a Hone Edge promo. 50 HP, and then you guys can see there, it's like XY12. And it's got like a weird kind of stamp there. But yeah, I haven't opened many Japanese cards, so it's probably not weird at all. It's probably completely normal. But you know. It is what it is. 
Got a Clefairy, Clefable, Clefairy, blow it. A Clefable. Ooh. All of the fairy energies. Hold on, we got a um, Breloom there. One, two, three, four. Four fairy energies. The energies are very like sporadically like placed in here. But we've got a Helioptile. Another, another couple of Helioptiles here. Ooh, I like that. Hold on, we got a Tyrant there and a Cofagrigus. I like that. That was actually the first shiny I actually ever caught in uh, Alpha Sapphire, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that Snorlax. I like that one. That's that's going off into the the cool, the cool regular uncommon pile there. We got the Battle Reporter, Larvesta, Tyrant, Larvesta, a um, I can't even remember the name of it. We got a Sandile there. So many mind blanks, all of the mind blanks. But we got a Larvesta here. Once again, lots of doubles. Hitmonchan. Oh, I like that Bulbasaur. That's going off to the side. Farfetched. I like that set logo again. You guys can see that there. It's got like a little Froakie in the corner there. HXY. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys know what that means. But we got a Mianchao. I like that one. That one's going off to the side. Oh, a bit neary. Or a um, low punny. Swaddle. Volbeat, Oddish, Caterpie, Caterpie, a Vespaquin, Kakuna. Oh, I, I like the Grottle. But yeah, it looks like a lot of bulk here. I think I said that like 20 times, but it's just a massive bulk mystery Pokemon cube. Very interesting. So we got a Spupa, a Rose Raid, Excelgore, Nidorina. That Ursa Ring from Plasma Blast and a Hitmon Top. Okay, let's keep chugging. Final stack, you guys. Nearing the end. Okay. So we got some more black and white series here. We got the Plasma Plasma Freeze Radicate there. A Muna. Another one. Ooh, Professor Oak from I don't know what that is. The whack. The whack set. With the Zora Rock in the bottom corner corner there this time. A Cray Dilly, a, uh, I can't hear, a Swoobat, Woobat, Unpheasant, Trap Inch, Lo lots of, lots of com comments here, this is insane. We got a Double Colorless Energy, another one, okay, now we're upside down. Couple of, couple of Fighting Energies, let's just whiz through these. Flip to back around, we got a Riolu, another Fighting Energy, Switch, Fighting, Ultra, Holucha, Fighting, Lucario, Cub Chew, Low Punny, and Graveler. So that is everything. Whew, that was a huge cube. So the mystery has been solved. I we had no uh, clue. Myself and Lazy Charizard had no clue as to why these cards were sleeved. And so we've come to the conclusion. I've personally come to the conclusion that these cards were just minty fresh, and they sleeved them to keep them in the mintiest of condition. So you guys can see here in the lighting there it's just glossy it just looks really nice very clean cut and um yeah so we'll just go through these couple here that i put aside these were the the faves when it comes to the artwork so let's go through these ones here so we've got a uh a mian shao bulbasaur the snorlax the really grumpy looking snorlax i like that i like that a lot we've got the lantern just looks really nice really nice gen 2 throwback we got the majestic, the majestic Dunsparce, which looks pretty cool. And we got the, the evil, devious looking Rotom. So yeah, they were the, they were the favorites from the commons and uncommons we got in today's video. But yeah, regardless, regardless of the polls, I guess you could say, from this mystery cube, if you guys did enjoy today's opening of sorts, be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and be sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified whenever i upload and with that said i'm gonna get up out of here thanks for watching today's opening and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one peace